It is 90.3 KEXP. We stream all over the world at KEXP.org. My name is Troy Nelson, and I am very happy today because we are with the one, the only, Matthew Deer. Matthew Deer, if you're ready, take it away.
You're listening to Matthew Deere live here on 90.3 KEXP, streaming all over the world at kexp.org. Matthew Deere, thank you so much for taking the time to uh, stop by and play for us today. Oh, man, anytime. Thank you for having me, yeah. Absolutely. Both those songs you can find on the very excellent album, Bunny. And I'm just sort of looking at your setup this time around. I'm always <laughs> looking over going, wondering what the hell some of that does. It changes and daily. It changes, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It continually sort of start. it's morphing always. Yeah, it's like I've got too many toys, you know? I love it. So you know, there's like, I do all this music at home in my studio, mm -hmm. but then when you take it out on the road, you got to figure out, okay, well, how am I going to do that? You know, Absolutely. Because you kind of don't have all the resources, but you want it to be interesting. So, yeah, mm -hmm. kind of mix it up with the vocals and effects and loops and stuff. Speaking of gear, uh, your very first two records were made pretty much just using the Akai MPC. Is that correct? Um, my, my very first vinyl, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I had an Akai, yeah. And making music now with all the seemingly endless options that we have with today's technology, do you still like to use retro gear? I went through a phase, yeah. I, I 
or got the uh, Kai out of, um, I guess my, my in-laws closet that <laughs> it was, it was wow. in a box and I, I refurbished it. I got a new screen. I got like a update for the memory card and everything. And I used it for about a week and then I was like, this is too, too complicated. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. Cause I mean, there's, but there is some, there's a beauty to that simplicity of like pattern sequencing and, and working on a very fundamental, like you only have this much space. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I like that about it, but it's hard to go backwards. Mm-hmm but I still plan to more. I hear yeah. you. Well, and speaking of, so I always think how limiting it must have been to make electronic music back in like, let's say the 70s uh, compared to now. But then you listen to like old Kraftwerk records and you're like... Mind-blowing. Like this is kind of better than a lot of contemporary stuff that's coming out today. Do you think that there was some, um, some positives to having those limitations back then? Absolutely. And, you know, Kraftwerk, I, I put them in a league. It's almost like Kubrick. Like mm-hmm. you, you see it, you you listen to it, and you're like, no, like that should not have been able to have been done. Yeah. So they they had some keys, some access, like to the gate, you know, back then. Mm-hmm. But um, where they're just very talented. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's there's always like I heard a her story about uh, producing Aerosmith records. I forget who it was, and they said, you know, you had to make a choice with your guitar effects, and you burned them to tape, like you printed them to tape. And that track was done. You know, you couldn't go back and say, eh, maybe the delay needed to be a quarter mm. as opposed to an eighth. Yeah, you couldn't record a clean signal and then in post start yeah. putting all the, okay. When you had limited tracks, and you right. only had 16 tracks, 24 tracks. So definitely there's, there's limitations there that just keep you on point. And you can't mess around. You can't mess up. Mm. You just got to know your stuff. You show up to the studio and record it. So I do like to kind of incorporate that sometimes. Like I'll, uh, I'll just burn tracks like or render them in place mm-hmm. and then just forget about it. You know, be like, okay, I'm making a decision now that I won't have to mull over later. Mm-hmm. That's actually a great idea. Yeah. Um, did I see that you have your own Ableton Live production masterclass out there? <laughs> I did one, yeah, That's on the great. internet, yeah. That's amazing. Is that, a, is that a free thing? Where can people find that? It, it was just for, um, um, oh gosh, I'm totally blanking, uh, just for an organization that, that had me kind of just talk way, uh, my way through my, my setup, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, I thought that was. I, I definitely want to check that. Ableton, something I've been very interested in. It's so. a fun. It's a fun box, you know, mm-hmm. or machine. I've been using it since. Sorry, VST. I've been using it since the very beginning. Software. Awesome. <laughs> um, and yeah, it's it's awesome. It's it's grown with us, and it's as musicians, and mm-hmm. it's it's definitely a great tool for playing live if you use a laptop. Mm-hmm. You've done so many fantastic remixes as well for other artists, and I thought this was interesting because you and I have something in common. I was heavily drawn to this record as well, but you remixed the entire MGMT Little Dark Age record. Yeah. So how did that come about? Oh, man, that's funny because, I mean, long story, as short as I can make it, I was driving in my car in Ann Arbor, uh, and it was right before, I guess, they announced the album, and Little Dark Age, the single, had just been released, I guess. And I heard it for the first time on Sirius XM, uh, mm-hmm. satellite radio, sorry. Uh, <laughs> yeah. But we'd listen to it sometimes. Yeah, uh, absolutely. And uh, I loved it. And I was like, what is this? Who is this? And then at the end, they're like, this is a new MGMT song. And I said, oh, my God. Like, this is exactly how I'm feeling. Like, this is perfect. It's a good blend of, like, synths mm. and feeling. It's and, exactly how I felt. Yeah, it just really connected with me. So I texted Sam uh, Valenti, who owns the, the label, Ghostly International. And I told him, like, hey, you got to check out this new MGMT song. And then so the next day, it turns out he's at a conference and he runs into their manager and says, hey, yeah, funny, Matthew Deere really likes that single. Um, and then from there, he said, maybe like a few weeks later, he's like, you want to do a remix? So they sent me the album to choose a song to remix, to which I replied, how about I do the whole thing? Because I, I really loved it. And I was yeah. like, remixes are getting so easy. And I'm like, okay, what's some way that I could, and I feel like they're the band that might take that on and be like, okay. But I really expect them to say no. But they came back and said yes. That's so cool. And then from there, it was just kind of like a, an immersive experience. I ended up doing some shows with them. I opened for them. And I almost looked at it as like an anthropological study on the mm-hmm. band, MGMT, mm-hmm. while I was doing the remix. So I got to know them more. I got to listen to them play the songs live. I got to hear them talk to me about the songs in the tour bus. So it was like this really cool, like... It's like you almost willed it. You're, like, no, I did, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> it, was, it was definitely all me. And like, I'm a, I'm a fan. You know, I've been a fan since the me too. day one. Same so it was, it was kind of like half like, oh my God, I'm really doing this? Uh, I'm, I'm on a tour bus with MGMT, like traveling around the country and then in Europe. But no, they're super nice guys, really cool. And I can't believe that they opened up their, their closet of tracks to me and let me do what I did. And, and I really, I'm really happy with it because I made the actual remix in a week in between tour dates. Wow. So I was like full on in their headspace and just just did it like live most of the stuff like pl- crazy samples and doing everything and it, it's fun I'm, I'm glad i did it and i'm really happy with the way i did it and it's it's an it's a piece of art in its own way and in no way shape or form am i ever trying to outdo the album 
I was just trying to kind of compliment it in a different way. Almost paying homage, really. Exactly. And I, I love the album. I love those guys. So, you know, for everybody that's out there that's ever thought, why the hell do you touch that stuff? It's like, yeah, it was, it was fun. It was a fun sound experiment. But, of course, I love the real stuff. Like, mm -hmm. that's my favorite. <laughs> I, I love how much of a fan you are of MGMT. Because yeah. I, I am too. That oracular, spectacular record when it came out like 10 years ago, even though it was a huge hit, yeah. it just had that sweet spot. It still does, man. It does. Yeah. It, it's it, still it captured fantastic. a moment for a lot of people. I know. And when I tell people uh, that MGMT is one of my favorite artists of our time, they're like, you mean that band that had a hit song 10 years ago? I'm like, they have other records. Screw them. Yeah, exactly. They don't know what they're talking about. Exactly. If you heard the new single, the new single's amazing. Yeah, yeah I played it the other I day. I love it. Yeah. yeah. Same here. Well, once again, Matthew Deere. Thank you for joining us, and I know that myself and the listeners would love to hear a couple more tracks. All right. It's Matthew Deere, live here on 90.3 KEXP Seattle. Welcome to Bunny. Echo loves Bunny. They hug tighter and tighter. Bunny knows it cannot hold Echo. Echo doesn't feel slipping. When an Echo dies, Bunny holds hands tighter than ever before.
That is Matthew Deere live here on 90.3 KEXP. And thank you so much for stopping by and sharing your music with us once again. Thank you so much for having me. I appreciate it. Indeed. What can we expect from Matthew Deere in the coming new year? Oh, man. Uh, more more music, for sure. <laughs> okay. I'm always working on music, so I've got some stuff lined up and uh, some new some new aliases as well. Uh, secret aliases coming out. More techno. And, uh, yeah, keep, keeping the ball rolling. Great. I yeah. love that. And going to be playing Numos tomorrow, so definitely go check out the show. Yeah, with Tourist and Swim Mountain. We're doing a, a tour together all over the country, and it's been great. They're it's, awesome guys. Sounds awesome. Well, that was Matthew Deere, live right here on 90.3 KEXP Seattle. Discover new music at listenerpoweredkexp.org.